So as many of you might know, if you use markup.io to collect client feedback on your projects, you'll know that they recently switched to a single paid plan. Now, it was quite a price hike for me. Previously, I was on Markup's free plan where they allowed you to have five projects going on at once and, and stay within their free limits. This always worked perfect for me because I never had more than five active projects that I was collecting feedback on. Now, would I have easily paid $19, $29 a month even for Markup? Absolutely, I would have. So now that they've increased their plans to an even higher price point, it just no longer made sense for me to only be collecting on a couple projects at once at any single time. So this ensued a search for a markup alternative. Now I did go down a rabbit hole and looked at several different options. I'll let you know which one I ended up on and will be using moving forward. So as you can see, when I logged into markup.io, I was greeted with this screen to start a free trial and that my account has been locked. And so all my new uh, past projects were put on hold and I could no longer use it again unless I upgraded. Now, as I mentioned, I went down a bit of a rabbit hole one day and was exploring a ton of different alternatives to markup. Uh, the sad thing is I really loved markup. It was a great, it worked great. It doesn't require clients to create accounts. Um, it just did the job. And unfortunately, the price point just no longer does the job for me. So uh, one of the first ones I looked at was Ruddle. Now, Ruddle, upon taking a look, actually had some really uh, good looking pricing plans that were competitive and probably on the cheapest end that I've saw of any other alternative. However, when I went to do a demo and utilize a product, and explore some of the features, I found it a little bit buggy and just not so intuitive as markup. So I kind of put this one on the back burner mainly because of the pricing, but moved on to some other alternatives. I did take a look at Sure Feedback. Now, the big difference with Sure Feedback is this requires you to set up a plugin as your main home base where you collect your, your feedback from. So you have to sort of create an install where it houses your feedback tool. Now, I really didn't prefer that. I don't like to add plugins and have to add more websites and stack, right? Like I'd rather keep it in the tool itself so that I don't have to deal with managing another install or plugin on another website. Um, and plus, I've heard a little bit of mixed reviews that Sure Feedback has not really advanced very much since it changed from a Terran. Now, another one I came across was Web Visio. Now, this one actually was pretty uh, enticing. It looked pretty good. It was pretty robust. It had a lot of options. I did also do the demo on this one. However, it just felt a little bit too cluttered. It was too much. Uh, for what I need uh, and and had the user interface and experience on it was just a little overwhelming, had too many options going on for me to navigate to. And if I'm personally overwhelmed, I know that when I go to hand this off to my client to leave feedback, they too will be even more confused. Uh, so simplicity is key and Web Visio, uh, unfortunately, was just not simple. Now, another one that I also got to test out on was Workflow. Now, this one I am keeping my eye on for the future as I think it looks really slick. However, uh, the basis uh, setup of how it functions just didn't really make sense to me in terms of uh, how it works and how you're supposed to really manage projects with it. And so I ended up uh, kind of leaving it for now because they actually just launched a couple weeks ago um, and but I might keep a close eye on it and see how it evolves over time. Now uh, the last one that I ended up taking a look at and is my choice moving forward as my markup alternative is Pastel. Pastel uh, also has a free plan of course it's only uh, free canvases, right? And so what that means is they limit to you on how many days you can open for comments. Uh, and then you can only have one user. So 
it was easy to be able to try out, right? Because it's free and you can also trial some of the higher end plans. Uh, but it had many of the features and simplicity that I was looking for that markup had. So as we dive in into a dashboard, um, you can see here, it's really simple and kind of resembles markup. Now, if you can come in and create a new project. So I can say AWD website. And in the top right here, you can add a website, you can add a PDF or an image to collect feedback on, or even an email. Now, I'm not sure what that means with email, uh, but 99% of the time I'm collecting feedback on websites. So if I add a website in here and insert my own agency website, you click that, add it to your dashboard, and within a few seconds, it loads. So then, when you open that canvas, you're introduced to the pastel dashboard. And, and the beauty of this, like I've been preaching this whole time is it's dead simple. Um, and just like markup, it has that toggle where you need to turn off commenting if you want to browse or turn it on if you want to click and leave comments and say, please change this. Now, one of the coolest things about Use Pastel that I really liked as well, which I believe the markup paid plan does also include, but as a free plan user, I never got to take advantage of, is the new versions. So you can actually create versions of revisions. So uh, as a web designer, when I send my websites to my clients, I include two rounds of revisions. So I can name this first one version one, or say round one, excuse me. And then you could also add round two, right? And so what happens is if we're in the first round of revisions, I'm going to open it up for comments and then we'll be able to finish review and move on to round two where then we'll be able to put new comments on here. And as we open up the comments panel, we can see we can sort these by most recent. We can say status, um, filter them, uh, and so on and so forth. And then you can view uh, an old version, right? So you, Adam Wright said, please change this. And we can mark this as resolved. So I haven't actually personally used Pastel yet on a project and sent to my clients. But I can tell by the simplicity of it and the user friendliness uh, that it shouldn't be any issue compared to markup. I hope you found this useful if you're debating on which design feedback tool to compare to and switch from markup. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more videos to come.